Welcome to FTM and it's WWDC keynote day. So we're gonna take a first look at iOS 14. Now iOS 14 has been released for developers and I have a developer account. So I've downloaded iOS 14 onto not my primary device. I would never recommend you do that because they are buggy early on. But this gives us an insight into what this is going to look like. When it comes out to users in September, there'll be a public beta before that, probably at late July. And most importantly, iOS 14 runs on iPhone 6S's and after that. So the original SE, the iPhone 6, 7, 8, or 6S, 7, 8, all those. It's gonna be great. So come with me on a little journey into iOS 14. Right, so basically here, it all looks still the same. Now I, for a while, haven't cleaned up my, my app organization, so it is a bit messy as it is. First thing we notice is app library. Now, what happens is you get to the final page of your apps and you keep swiping one across and you've got the app library. Now we can see here suggestions, recently added apps, social, productivity, creativity, utilities. It's automatically created these bundles. Now, what, what matters here is you can actually open up the full bundle. I'm learning this as I go, by the way, so you can see all the apps that are included in that bundle. And I've got to learn now how to get out of it. Maybe home. Yeah, home button. But the three big ones, I believe, are instantly clickable. So the larger icons, you can click directly. The smaller ones brings up a full list of all those category of apps. It seems very intuitive from the start. Now, if you want to find an app, you can still click on the app library and search for an app like Sonos or whatever it might be. Now, we should still be able to do that, though, from any other part of the home screen. But what matters most here is when we go into the little wobbly jiggly screen, so the edit home screen, um, we can now click on the bottom. So you'll see there what I did. I clicked on the bottom where those little slide rules are. Click on that there, and we can now choose what to keep and what to get rid of. So I'm gonna get rid of all the other home pages except the main one. Then I'm gonna click OK, and that's it, it's done. So I've now got a notice, page editing and newly deleted, newly downloaded apps. Now it'll now appear, in the app library. So basically I've only got the today view and the app library, which I think will be the way a lot of people utilize this. And you just saw in the today view, the other big feature of iOS 14, widgets. Now, these are the Apple widgets. They're really the only ones available right now. There'll be many, many more over the months ahead as apps get updated. So let's take the weather widget, for example. We can now drag that over into the home screen. You'll see it moves around all the other apps with it. Let's move another one, let's move. This one here is the Smart Stack. So it's a group of widgets all put together. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. And then let's move the uh, Control Center or Battery Power one across, because we've clearly got a second page now, but we've pushed all those apps over and around. So we've now got this situation where I've now ended up with, I wonder where all the other apps went. A lot of my apps have now been pushed away and moved. Um, but I can find those in the app library, but I've now got widgets. So what that is, that's smart stack, it's a group of widgets. So I can scroll up through it and find here a few shortcuts on this day to my photo library, shortcuts, music, and my calendar. And then the, the weather widget is obviously just tap that and you get the full weather. The idea is that it's a view into your app. It's a, it's a view at the app without having to open the app. So if I've got my phone closed and locked, I can open it up and go, well, oh, my next appointment is Two Blokes Talking Tech. I can see that, it's done, it's there. I don't need to open the calendar to see that. That's the power of widgets, and that's the thing that every Android user is shouting at me going, yeah, that's old. Of course, Android has had this, I don't know, six to eight years. I'll dig up my oldest article when they launched this, and I said iOS needs this as well. Bottom line, it's been a long, long time coming, but it looks great. And I think the app library initially seems way more advanced than the app drawer in any Android phone. And most importantly, I think we're gonna get better design widgets and that will actually work well for the Android users too because all these cool things developers do, they'll end up on Android too. So you might've had it first, but I think it'll be done well now. So that's a quick look at iOS 14. I'll have a look at more of it as we learn more. Full details of all the announcements from Apple today at eftm.com.